everybody, how you doing out there? Hi. Today, we're continuing our discussion on um, mobile apps and the mobile app industry and why you should get uh, your business, transfer your business to the mobile app market. I'm here with Anastasia. And I will talk about the data and the very big experience in business and uh, you can hear it because uh, you have experience in different kinds of business and uh, you can take this. Well, myself, I've been in business now for about eight years. Um, I've been involved in the tech industry, I've been involved in the computer repair industry, mobile industry, music production industry, and now I'm an accountant and know a little bit about finance and in the finance industry. So all these different types of industry can be transferred or, or transferred over to the mobile app uh, market, which is the big market that's generated a lot of um, revenues nowadays. And this is an opportunity for people to get involved in this industry. So we'll be discussing how that, how we can make that possible. Yes, and uh, when we talk about uh, application and how it can help uh, to your business, we have. Uh, some facts and uh, you can hear it today and uh, we can start uh, the first uh, and say the first about uh, that now people use more devices uh, uh, like smartphones like tablets and like this because uh, if we see around and when people go in traffic and uh, in, uh, in a subway or in some different kind of transport uh, people uh, sit in smartphones Read books, playing some games like this. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, see people walking around with their with their uh, with their smartphones across the street. People are crossing the street with their phones in their hands. So, I mean, it has to be important if the person is walking across the street and not looking at the traffic with their phone in their hands. So, it must be very important. But. The reality is that everywhere you turn today, whether you're in a cafe, whether you're on the train, whether you're in school, whether you're on the job, wherever you are today, people, the majority of people have a smartphone in their hands. So that is a big indication that this is an opportunity to reach customers or to reach clients because everyone has a smartphone and they have access to it at, the, at an instant. So, this is something that a lot of our um, business, a lot of industry have already capitalized on and have already started a big um, revolution, if you want to say that, in the e-commerce uh, market. And it's happening as we speak right now. And now, uh, if you talk about the time when people go to sleep, maybe you do like this. You put your smartphone here when you go to sleep, yes? And uh, when you get up, it's first you open your smartphone and see some news and uh, you get an app from this. And uh, if you see on your leg, you can see that uh, uh, when you want uh, to know some uh, new information, you go to mobile devices now. If you want, you go to Google Maps or to Google. <laughs> you know it's live, right? Yeah. So. <laughs> and now uh, we use more what? Ah, yeah. Uh, and now you, uh, when you want to know uh, more information, you go to YouTube, not to uh, TV. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. So I mean, the trend is that everything is moving towards that. And if you're a business person, you want to be where the trend is. I mean, it's you know, hands down, that's what marketing is based on. You want to be a part of the recurrent trend, and you want to be involved in the trend. Even people with websites, it's um, incumbent up for them to have their sites turned into an app somehow or affiliated with an app somehow. So, and if you make that possible, so if you have a site, you don't lose the credibility of your site or the ability of your site. You just can incorporate your site into your app so that people who are accessing your, um, your site through the smartphone, they can already utilize the function directly through the app. So this just makes it seamless for people to access your, your website, your yeah. Facebook page, whatever it is, directly through your app. Most use not only your smartphone, we use uh, mobile devices. Yeah. 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 Computer too. But uh, if you talk about how much we use smartphone, we see that 50% of all email traffic we send from mobile devices mm. and tablets. 
it's very big figures. Why? Because uh, smartphones are always near and uh, we can send an uh, email about work, about holiday from uh, mobile devices and it's too easy for people and for all people. Absolutely. I think that's good when you think about it. The majority of people are using their phones to communicate, not just by speaking on it, but to send email in general. More people have switched over to send an email through their, app, I mean, through their um, mobile phones than people are using um, laptops or desktops or even the tablets. So, again, this is an indication. This is where the traffic is moving. So if you're a business person, you want to be in the location where the traffic is. And it's no more, it's not so much more of about a physical location, it's more about a, a online location or an e-commerce location. And that new e-commerce location is... Um, and uh, uh, one of the things we talk about how we uh, can know some information, uh, maybe 10 years ago, we, uh, we know more information from newspaper, yes? Mm -hmm. uh, after that, we uh, know information in internet, from computer and something like this, from books before, yeah? Uh, and now, when we want to, uh, to know something new, we go to uh, app uh, markets, uh, like uh, iTunes, uh, Google Market, like this. And uh, now, if you uh, have you can present your business for all people because now this process started and it's very uh, interesting uh, marketing when you always near with your clients you always on the main page of your clients it's like image making thing because now we not hear uh, some information around we not uh, see to all banner we not read uh, all information uh, with some this is, this is very interesting because when you when you think about branding and when you're thinking about um, making connections with people, it's very important. Um, when you have a website, most of the time people want to think about SEO and how many people come to your site and how can you connect with what type of people. So again, this is another opportunity for you to connect to more types of people. Um, one is people with their smartphones. Second is people that visit the App Store, people that visit um, Google Play. These are additional connections for people to access information about your business. It's not just the fact that it's a website or it's a mobile app, it's the fact that it's have connection to um, multiple networks, whether it's Facebook, whether it's um, Google, whether it's the App Store, whether it's iTunes. All of these are different places that you are located and give people the opportunity to find you or to see your brand and see information or whatever the products that you're offering. In addition to that, you have your own app that can directly make the transaction, complete the transaction for you. So. Yeah, and now when we talk about smartphones, it's very interesting because always in smartphone we have a geo location of your customers. And when uh, people uh, go near your business, near maybe your barbershop or cafe, you can send notifications for them and say hi, and uh, you can come in, you're welcome. Uh, we have some presents for you, maybe. And, <laughs> Yes, it's I, know, I know this seems a little bit intrusive, but it's very good too because um, never before can you locate where your customers are. Today we have location, we have geolocation, so you have the ability to target customers that are nearer to you. I mean, it might sound crazy, but if you have a sale going on and you know five customers is walking by your, your, your store or your boutique or your barbershop or whatever it is, wouldn't it be better to target those customers than to target the customers that five miles away? Again, this is something that you can pinpoint knowing that you have this technology, knowing that if you can detect the customers that's closer to you, those are the ones you can target. So this is an advantage for you because it's more likely that that customer will come in than a customer that's five miles away or 25 miles away or whatever. So it's a, again, it's a tool that gives you the ability to be more effective in targeting your, uh, your customers. Don't be being too intrusive about following people around and stuff like that. <laughs>
and uh, in your app you can connect all what you want. You can connect that people can uh, phone you in one click, uh, people can uh, pay money for your services in one click, mm -hmm. uh, you can connect all uh, network instruments like Facebook, LinkedIn and all, all, all instruments. And this is very uh, important today that uh, your service is very easy to people and in apps you can do it. Yeah, that's actually called this the economy because you know you can do everything right from your phone just by clicking on it. You don't, you know, if you want to buy, you know, just one click <laughs> instead of calling it all of the names, just one click. Yeah. So I mean, it's 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 like I said, it's the new trend. It's what's happening. This is where the market is moving. This is where people are moving. This is where the world is moving. So if you're a business person. You need to be thinking, and we're not talking about just the large corporations and people with a lot of money. We're talking about just the regular person, you know, that needs to get involved with it. It's a spot. If you don't have a specific idea on what that app would be, now is the time to start. You don't have to come out with the most coolest app, but you need to come out with an app and start to think about how to make it into something that would attract people. You don't need to sit back and just wait until it's all the way gone and then you start to enter. If you enter now, then you can be involved in the trend and develop your app as the um, trend is developing. It's a very interesting factor because uh, if you mind, maybe 10 years ago, uh, when you have a site, it's like a prestige moment, yes, image mm -hmm. moment. Uh, people see you and you say, I have a site, you can go and read uh, information there. Right. People say, well, in the internet, yeah, right. like this. <laughs> right. It was a point of conversation. I mean, it's always a point of conversation to say to someone, you know, download my app or, you know, this is another way to reach me. This is my website. This is my um, application um, business card. This is my online store. It's another way of, again, um, imaging yourself and putting more credibility on yourself, your business. Yeah, that is business. Uh, when we talk about social networks, we have very big problems because uh, now in Facebook, in Instagram, in all uh, social networks, we have uh, new, new, how would say, new steps uh, to find you. Yeah, and uh, if you have not more likes, uh, if you, uh, your friends not put likes, and put likes now <laughs> in this video because it's very important that more people see it. Uh, if uh, you haven't more, uh, uh, all your friends not see your information. This is a true, yes, in English. Yeah, they I mean, understand it's, me. it's very true. I mean, you definitely, uh, the more likes you get, and that's the phenomenon, too, it's the more credible, you know, people think that you are. So, uh, you want to encourage that your friends, see, you know, go to your video and, and, and go to your yes. app and put like, because what happens not just the fact that your friends like it or rate your app but also that they download it because that's what um in terms of google google play and in terms of the apple store there's another ranking the, the fact of how many times people download your app is a ranking that puts you into another category in terms of credibility this is another um award or whatever it is that that is available for people the, the top the top ranking app or the most downloaded app or, you know and all these again is building credibility your brand and your business uh, making more people you know see your business or like your business or like your app all of these again is more credibility for branding your business yes and uh, when you publish something new maybe in your YouTube channel in Facebook it's not doesn't matter where you do you can send push notifications mm -hmm. for for your customers and they know that you publish something new and uh, you can ask them that they put likes and this. See, this is a powerful thing because push notifications now say, okay, you have Facebook and you publish stuff on Facebook and you yeah. have YouTube and you publish stuff on YouTube. But how do you tell people that you just did, you just published something? With the app, when you have like say 600 people that downloaded your app, you can send push notification every time you publish something and that 600 people would have an indication that you just published something. 
Whereas people have to go back to your Facebook page or log on to their computer or whatever it is to find out that you published something. And the fact that they have their mobile app and they downloaded your app, when you send a push notification and let them know that you just downloaded something or you have a sale going on or whatever it is, those 600 people will get that indication immediately. And as soon as they open their phone, that push notification is right on the screen of their phone. Yes, and uh, when we talk about apps, it's like uh, innovation moment. Uh, when you have it, it's prestige. It's like uh, it's image moment because then always uh, on the main page your icon on the smartphones your about your clients, and every day uh, they sit in smartphones more than two hours, and every day they maybe twice, maybe third, maybe fourth day they see your image and they have they have uh, association when they have problems uh, and uh, your business can uh, help in it they uh, mind about you mm -hmm. i know we said 10 reasons why you should have an app but we probably just gave you like 50 reasons but in addition to that we want to talk a little bit about the evolution of this market what's going on and the types of money that's in this market. I mean, currently, this year, 2016, um, Forbes, Forbes magazine have predicted that this industry would make about $65 billion in the app market. And I want to say that they've already concluded that in July of this year, they've already made $65 billion and counted. If you look at the figures in terms of what was going on during uh, Black Friday, the mobile app industry was one third of the total revenue that was made on Black Friday in regards to where people was doing their shopping. On um, Cyber Monday as well, you know, a lot more people was doing their shopping on um, mobile mobile device than they were actually doing in the stores. So this is very important. Again, the figures are out there. If you want to Google it, you can Google it. There's a report that just gives you all of the stats in terms of what the numbers are to show you that this is a real industry. There's real substantial amount of uh, capital being generated in this industry, and something that you should think about in regards to how you how you should uh, brand your business in this industry. Yes, now we have like uh, when uh, you know that now we have something like. Uh, Facebook or YouTube, and you know that you can do some steps and take money from this market. Take. And uh, now you say that now market from website and e-commerce from website to go to mobile application. And you can take money from this market. We can help, we it to you and uh, with company what we present, uh, take small team, maybe mm -hmm. not small, no, at first it's small, small yeah. and bigger. And we have to make big teams, big, yeah. big teams, big league, big teams. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's, it's very, it's very serious. Um, people should start to think about putting together teams, putting together networks in terms of the people that's around you. And like Anastasia said, this is an opportunity to take money out of this market because, again, it's not like it's any kind of um, illegal activity or anything like that, but because of the, the, the fact that this is a developing market and it's an open market, and those are, those are very um, real words because this is a market that's worldwide. And when you talk about it being an open market, there's no barricades that stop people from entering the market at the present moment. So we've got a time where you can enter this market and begin to take money out of this market. And that word take money is literal. You know, you have to think about it like that. Like you're entering a market that right now there isn't much regulation. And you're not doing anything wrong. But if you wait too long, if you enter at the wrong time, you're gonna enter at a time when there is regulation and when there isn't much ability to take money out of the market. So this is something that people need to start thinking about in regards to it being a raw market and an opportunity for people to enter and take money out of this market. Yes, and uh, the first when you have profit from when we sell application. Next step in this market when people every month pay a small subscriber. And this is very interesting because you can create your passive income and do after that, you can do what you want uh, in what you have uh, your realization. Yes, and uh, it's very interesting 
because now we have not more time. This process started and uh, now you cannot say that you didn't know about it because now you see this video. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, definitely, I mean, again, the, the basic idea is to develop a team, develop an app, have a product, market your product. I mean, it's the same fundamentals of business. But the attitude and the idea is that you have to get in the market at the right time and know what it is that you're doing in the market in regards to the product sales and how you brand branding yourself and have the, have the aggressive attitude that you are you know, in it to win it, so, so to speak. It's interesting. And uh, if you want uh, to know about it more, tomorrow at uh, 8 p.m. we have a webinar and we will talk uh, about how you can do money from this uh, money and uh, you can write to Vlasic uh, you know his page right so if you are seeing this video you definitely know my page so you can um, comment post something um, send me a link or whatever I will send you the link to the webinar tomorrow at 8 o'clock we have a webinar where we go more in detail about the exact program and the platform and give you some um, examples of apps that was created with the platform and some examples of the features that we can do and how we can use the apps that we create to generate money and there's no limitation on the types of industry whether it's music whether it's um, finance whether it's um, business services repair whatever it is um, we have all the tools that, is, that, that we can use to, uh, to generate financial capital in, in the app business. So, tomorrow we'll have the presentation at 8 o'clock and we'll tell you a lot more about it. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. So, well, just leave a comment. Remember yeah. to click like. Yeah. Have a good evening and uh, thank you for your time.